James Wise with Holden Wise here. Today I have an investment property that would be a great cash flow investment, but it's in a very, very high end suburban neighborhood with a lot of appreciation upside. Let's dive in. <laughs> Three, three, seven, eight, Walters Drive, Brunswick, Ohio. This property listed at 139,900 is three beds, one bath. It was built in 1960 and the taxes are only $1,710. Now, if you've been following a lot of our content, a lot of the properties we put out, you'll probably notice that the price point of this house seems pretty low compared to how low those taxes are. You see, this property is located in Brunswick, which is not in Cuyahoga County. Most of the investment properties that you have been buying from Holton Wise are located in Cuyahoga County, which has higher taxes than Medina County, which is where Brunswick is located. Now you see, the cool thing with Brunswick is a lot of people in the greater Cleveland area are moving to Brunswick. I know a lot of you from California, New York, Texas, Israel, you flock to Cleveland for cash flow. But the biggest negative, the biggest thing you guys tell me when you're investing in Cleveland, you're thinking about looking at the Cleveland market versus other markets in America, you're like, ah, there is a net population loss in Ohio that scares me. So a lot of it is risk versus reward. You're like, I will go with the cash flow and I'll give up on that appreciation or that population gain in exchange for the cash flow. You can have your cake and eat it too. You see, you get the good cash flow because we could buy this for $140,000 and we could rent this for about $1,400 a month. On top of that, the city of Brunswick since 2010 has had a population gain of 3.5%. That means people in the greater Cleveland area, a lot of them are going to Brunswick. So I expect 10 years from now, the value of this house to go up. The client that I am selling this house for purchased this house in 1999 for $105,500. He's actually a maintenance tech here at Holden Wise. He does all of our HVAC work. He moved his family to another property in Brunswick. Obviously, he moved out of the house, which is why you know I'm here doing the video for you. Speaking of me doing the video, did you hit the subscribe button? Don't forget to pound the like button. Look at this thing, this beautiful brick house in this amazing neighborhood. He paid $279,900. If you drive around the city of Brunswick, you are going to see new development all over the place. This is where the major builders are building houses. People are going to Brunswick for those lower taxes, bigger yards, nicer neighborhoods, great school districts. I mean, just look around. Look at these amazing houses. I mean, just tons of stuff over here. I mean, look at that lake. You know, this is something great. You move tenants in there, they're walking their dog, their kids around the lake. Look at all the stuff you have around here. You got Starbucks, you got Home Depot, Giant Eagle. You even have nightlife for the parents, you know, several bars. You know, just a bunch of good stuff, just family friendly. Look at all the shopping and the new development. A lot of the C-class neighborhoods in Cleveland, they're great for cash flow, but you know, a lot of the infrastructure is just so old and it's tough and that's going to lead you to increased maintenance costs on the buildings. Whereas out here in Brunswick, everything is new, it's fresh, and I expect those prices to continue to rise. If you look at the comps in the last 90 days, 87 properties in Brunswick have sold. The single cheapest house in the entire city sold for $108,500. That was a two bed, tiny little, looks like a condo. You know, other than that, we got tons of houses in the low hundreds, the mid 100s, 140s, 150s, and then you just got a bunch that just shoot up to the 160s, 170s, 180s, and then you get yourself up into the higher echelon. I mean, there's just tons of properties in the 250, 270, 279. Like this one right here, 885 Fiora Drive, Brunswick. Sold for $280,000 last month. Four bed, four bath, built in year 1999. Right after that, 3576 Sandalwood Drive. Sold for $281,760. Built in 2018. The next one, 3572 Sandalwood. 
built in 2018, sold for 293,000. I mean, oh, look at this one, sold for 295,000. It's old, built in 1994. Try to find a house in the city of Cleveland itself that was built in 1994. You can't do it. They're built in like 1915, 1920. That's the old house on this list. The one again right after that, 3526 Sandalwood, also built 2018. That thing sold for 295. The next sixth. These are the six most expensive houses in the city of Brunswick that sold in the last 90 days. 299,228 built in 2018. 303,038 built in 2018. 304,900 built in 2016. The next one, 316,000 built in 2018. 329,000 built in 2017. And the most expensive house, 332,000. Uh oh, that one's old too. That one is seven years old, built in 2011. What I'm trying to say, guys, is this is where people are moving to. When you buy these investment properties, you should reverse engineer them. Who is going to live here? Do people want to live here? Is this a valuable property? Is this something that people are going to want to go to, want to live there? And the answer in Brunswick is overwhelmingly yes. Yes, they are. That's why it's one of the only cities in the greater Cleveland area with a population gain, not a population loss. Your taxes are lower. Your tenant base is going to be incredible. The guy who is selling this property just moved his family to an immaculate house, beautiful brick front, two-story living room. It's almost $300,000. These are the types of quality people that we're going to put in this property. I want you to look at the data here. I'm not here just pitching you, pitching you like a used car salesman. I have actual data to back this up. What this is, this is the household income for the city of Brunswick, okay? Now look at that. What is the most common household income level? That's seventy-five to a hundred thousand a year. That's right. More people in the city of Brunswick make seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars a year than any other category. The second highest is folks making sixty to seventy-five thousand a year, followed up by folks making over a hundred. That's a hundred to a hundred twenty-five thousand a year. If you look at some of these neighborhoods in Cleveland that you're investing in, guys, you know the actual household income is about thirty thousand. So, you know, it's literally a third of what we have here. That's not to say those are bad investments because they're not. We make money doing those too. But if you're going to invest in real estate, it's a good idea to diversify. You want to have some of those higher risk properties, but you also want to have some nice, solid, stable properties just like this. Utilize other people's money. Let the tenants come in, pay off that bank loan for you, collect a little bit of cash flow, and then just sit on that investment because 20 years from now, this is a valuable home. 30 years from now, this is a valuable home. Why? Because it's desirable. Because people want to live there. High quality people that are not going to give you issues. You know, evictions, things getting broken, tenants not paying rent. When you have a household income of $100,000, that really isn't something that needs to be on your radar. This is the kind of property that Holton wants. We're going to put a tenant in there. They're probably going to stay for four, five, six, seven years so they can keep their kids in the Brunswick School District. Speaking of the Brunswick School District, again, I'm going to back what I'm saying up with data. Look at all the schools in the city. As you see, the majority of them have four stars. A couple are in the three stars. But if we go into a more higher risk area, okay, like a C-class neighborhood, we're going to look at the same data and we're only going to see one, possibly two star reviews. So people want to stay in this area. They're going to stay longer. That's going to increase your ROI. I expect this property to continue to appreciate in value. So you're going to be able to own this property, sit on it, make a little bit of cash flow, have those tenants pay down your mortgage. And when it comes time to sell, you know, we'll do another nice renovation at the very end maximize that value and sell this thing for top dollar. I would be shocked if you held this thing for 10, 15, 20 years and you didn't sell it for probably above $200,000. I can't tell the future, but if we look at the data, this area, this is one of the safest bets in the city of Cleveland. Holton Weiss is a full service real estate investment company. We can help you buy this property. We have lenders who will loan you money to purchase this property. We even have insurance providers who can insure it for you after you close. 
HomeWise will be able to take care of all the property management, maintenance requests, and then when it is time to sell this property down the road, we will be able to help sell it for you as we are the number one sellers of investment property in the greater Cleveland area. But if we look at the data, this property, this city, Brunswick, it's one of the safest bets in the Cleveland market. If you want to buy this house, go ahead, click the link above or below, or send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. For more about me, my personal story, you can follow me on my Instagram at jameswisehwpg. I'm a broker, investor, entrepreneur. I grew my portfolio from one property all the way up to a management portfolio valued over $50 million. And I like to post on that account every single day, giving you an inside look at the life of a full-time real estate investor. As always, James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. <laughs>